So uh, the first question I wanted to, uh, to put out there is um, there, there's a, a figure that recurs in your novels. Uh, we have Exica in Satan Tango. We have Valushka in The Melancholy of Resistance. We have Corin in War and War. These are characters that they are very different from one another, obviously, but they share an affinity in that they are not of this world uh, a little bit. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about that character and what it means in, in, in the context of your work, uh, this, this kind of innocent characters and what their function is in their novels. Who? Uh, immediately into the deepest depth. <laughs> This is the custom here in the city lights. <laughs> and this is only the first question. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much for your for your coming, Mauro. Uh, actually, here I can uh, I should say any, uh, something about uh, about the meaning of sacrifice or or something like that, because this this three person, the three characters in these three novels. Uh, are really uh, victims of uh, this world. Uh, that means uh, absolutely not that uh, they they are not a part of this uh, this world, but uh, they are part not only this world. Uh, actually, this kind of characters like Eshtike from the Satan Temple and uh, Valushka from the Melancholy of Resistance and Corin from the War and the War. Uh, these kind of characters uh, 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 are all money. We paid for a compromise life with, uh, with, uh, with their sacrifice. Uh, actually, this is a, a main tradition of uh, human history because uh, if you think of the, the Russian literature in the 19th century, if you think of Dostoevsky, how many wonderful characters uh, uh, we can find from this uh, kind of victims. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I joined uh, also to this, to this tradition with these persons, because uh, uh, we cannot pay uh, enough for our life with these victims, and uh, perhaps this is a big machinery, this is a big circle, uh, and uh, this is a big repeti repetition, you know. We, we live between different compromises, uh, and different uh, uh, under different uh, small or, or bigger punishments, but uh, actually this kind of very very sensitive figure, these victims, uh, the are really sacrifice. We we have um, it, it's it's impossible to for, for for forget this kind of human beings like Ashtika or. Valushka, and uh, perhaps uh, I hope that uh, that uh, um, we we cannot forget them. It, it reminds me of what you're saying a little bit about the the machinery in the, the Twin Horse uh, Bellatars movie yeah. uh, that was based uh, on a short story of yours. That there's a moment in Twin Horse. You have to give the, the crowd a little background in Twin Horse. There's a father and a daughter uh, in, in a very remote place, uh, and they're alone for most of the, of the, of the, uh, the movie. Um, and then there's a point uh, in the middle of the movie where there's a horse carriage that comes in with lots of people on it, and like they're partying and having a good time, and they're incredibly scary. And they remind me a bit of this machinery, and it's this sort of, is there an apocalyptic vision that, that in such a quiet movie becomes terrifying? Uh, talk a little bit about that image and what it means to you. Uh, our last movie, The Turing Horse, is, uh, is really a, um, uh, our last uh, message with Vela for all readers and, and, uh, and friends. 
who read and who go uh, to the cinema yet. And um, um, that was a, actually an accidental case. Uh, um, in the time of uh, our, our film, uh, Man from London, in the middle of uh, shooting, it was a big collapse, uh, financial and, uh, I don't know, collapse, and uh, it seemed like uh, so that we cannot, we cannot finish this film, and Bela was absolutely on the floor, and uh, like so many times, his wife came to me and uh, asked me for something. What? I asked. But I, I knew uh, very, very exact uh, 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 what is my task now, namely something to write for Bela. And, uh, and I, I wrote a script uh, alone, and that was the touring horse, uh, because I remembered that uh, from, the er from the early 90s, perhaps 91 or 92, I wrote a very small essay about a scene <coughs> of the life of Friedrich Nietzsche, uh, 883 perhaps, something very symbolic uh, uh, happened with Nietzsche in Turin. Um, perhaps uh, you, know, you know this story, uh, that was the, the, the symbolic uh, date uh, and after that, uh, Nietzsche felt uh, in the madness. And the story was on the street the following uh, a horse was beaten very much, and uh, Nietzsche uh, walked on the street and uh, he, uh, he saw this scene, and uh, although <coughs> he wrote in his in his life only about <coughs> the question and answer that we have to to be free of the solidarity with uh, defeated uh, beings but in Turin happened something different and very symbolic also for us and for every 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 Nietzsche people that uh, Nietzsche went not to the man who beat it, the horse, but Nietzsche went to the horse, and uh, he began uh, he began crying, cried, and we knew this story in Europe and perhaps here also, and everybody built that with Nietzsche after this uh, symbolic scene. But nobody asked what's happened with the horse after this story. I was very curious what happened, what happened with the horse. And about, about this question I, I wrote a small essay. And from a small essay I wrote this screen for Bela and Bela was really very well satisfied of the story, but we, we never thought that uh, we make we will make a film from this scene. That was some therapy for Bela. And after that, uh, we could uh, continue the, the, the shooting of Man, the Man from London, and uh, it, it seemed like so that uh, we can uh, we can uh, continue our, our uh, collaboration and. Uh, after a while, uh, Bela called me and uh, asked me, uh, uh, have you, do you have some, some mood to make a new film? No, I answered. That was always my answer. Uh, because I don't like very much uh, the, 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 the mood making, the process. Also. Uh, Bela defended me always, but uh, but uh, he couldn't enough, <laughs> and uh, I was always very afraid, afraid of, of, the, of, the, of the people there who, who were absolutely not interested uh, in, uh, in, the, in the art 
after the message, only the money, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, what can we drink now? Uh, uh, normal question, uh, early question. And actually only Bela, Bela's wife and me, uh, we were three who had uh, really interested in, uh, in, this, in, the, in, this, in this kind of film, what we, which, we, which we did. And uh, Bela called me and asked me, uh, have you ever known? And uh, um, that was always, always the same case. Uh, I had to convince me that this new film, what, uh, what, we, what we should, what we should make again, uh, could miss from the world. And uh, that was not a simply a task for Bela to convince me. And uh, but the, uh, but uh, but the, but the last arg ar argument argument by Bela was in that case that uh, if you have helped me for uh, for for the touring horse, this film will be all last. And uh, I couldn't say anything. But, yeah, okay, in this case, a bit pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and uh, and the film uh, is uh, really very very faithful to the script. Actually, uh, only there is a big monologue in the middle of the, or a little later than in the middle of the film, uh, from a neighbor, and uh, that uh, that was a little bit longer in the script and. Uh, of course, uh, we cut it this model, and uh, but not enough. I think so. <laughs> not enough. Uh, this is uh, a little bit too long. Bela, Bela is, is, is absolutely satisfied with this model. Uh, me too. Only a little bit. The rhythm there is a is a little bit uh, problematic for me, but uh, this is absolutely no problem. And uh, this is really our last movie. Uh, Bela, uh, this is not only a trick, my brother. Uh, I hope. Uh, and, uh, he organized uh, organizes now a film school, uh, which uh, should be wonderful in uh, in the former Yugoslavian area, uh, in the Adriatic city, uh, split. For example, with uh, Jonathan Rosenbaum such a figure, figures uh, and I think so uh, this is the best way because the Julian Horse is a fear about the apocalypse and after the apocalypse to make a new film <laughs> uh, I hope this is really really all us. Awesome.